Hello everybody, I'm Iran Hafner. Thank you for joining us. So, thank you for being here. And today I want to give you a taste from our revolutionary sales training uh, masterclass. So, when I work with people, I always ask myself, why are you here, you know? What are your reasons for taking this class? How can you use the, strat the strategies you will learn in your life, in your business? Do you see any value in being able to persuade your ideas in a way that it will feel like a good idea? Great, so let's start. Did you ever wonder why a good idea is a good idea? I mean, I can say the same idea to a group of people and some will think that it's a good idea and some will might think it's not so a, such a good idea. But the idea is the same idea. So what makes it feel like a good idea to some and not to others? I mean, I can give you an example. <clears throat> Let's say that I need now $10,000 to pay my bills and all my uh, expenses. And I don't have the money. And somebody come to me and tell me, I have a gun. Let's rob a store. <laughs> well, it will solve my problem. But will I do it? Probably not. But if you will go to someone who is open to breaking the law, then he might think it is a good idea to join him. So what makes the difference? Why it would be a good idea for one person, but not a good idea for another person? Obviously, it's not about fulfilling the need. Because you saw it fulfilled my need, and still I didn't do it. It still didn't feel like a good idea for me. So what makes a good idea feel like a good idea? Well, the answer is when we match a person's values. When it matches someone's internal values, it feels like a good idea. Let's understand something about values. Values are the deepest element of our personality. They are deeper than our beliefs. We will change beliefs easily, but we will not change our values. So when you learn how to find out what your client values are, and there is a simple question that I will teach you, that the answer to that question is the person values in regarding to the specific service or product or problem or whatever it is that you're solving. And once you know the person values, you need to learn how to present aiming to those values. Because when your client will feel that those values are being fulfilled, they will automatically feel ignited and it will feel like it's a good idea, like it's a good solution for the problem or for the challenge. That, that, does that make sense? So <clears throat> let me ask you something. What is easier to sell, your product or service, whatever it is, or a peace of mind and happiness? Sure, peace of mind and happiness. Everybody needs it, everybody wants it, <laughs> and people are willing to pay for that. But if I don't offer happiness and peace of mind, and I don't like emotion, then they can find a service or product or something similar for less money. So this is the trick that I want to teach you, how to find those values. Please raise your hand if you want to learn the secret format of finding those values. Nice. And after you know those values, it will be amazing if you will have a personal story that will match those values of your client, of your prospect. And if you are a business owner, whether you want it or not, you are in sales. So here at the State of Mind Academy, we're going to be offering a workshop to write your personal story, which is a must and a basic, basic element to be a great salesperson. Does that interest you? Being able to craft a personal story that can elevate all your business interactions? We have a free PDF for you, five-step instruction on how to craft your personal story. Would that be helpful for you? Comment, send me the story PDF in the chat and we will. Now, if you are a go-getter and you can handle things on your own, they are easy to follow instruction. You will be on your way in no time. And if you need more help, if you cannot come up with your own story from the PDF, and you need somebody to bounce things on and off for you, our upcoming workshop will be exactly what you need. Comment story workshop and we will add you to our launch list. Now, let's talk about some different values for different industries. So for example, in the home improvement industry, you will hear values like energy saving, like reliability, like warranty, craftsmanship. 
if you're in real estate an agent, you know, you will hear good schools, quiet neighborhood. If you are a coach of some sort, things like uh, trust, results. If you make a product, then you might hear warranty. Now, in our revolutionary sales training, there is an intense model of understanding the client values. And if you want more help on this topic, we are doing a beta test on our online course that we have delivered live to sales people across Southern California. And at the end results, over and over, is 20 to 30% increase in revenue, almost immediately. So are you ready to get the magical question that will reveal your prospect values? Write it down. What's important to you about blank? And in the blank, you put your product or service and you ask it three times. What else is important? You want to take everything that is important for them. And then you ask the same thing. What's important to you about the service provider or about the manufacturer? So that being said, let's talk about the second secret that I'm going to teach, the power of magical presentation. And that's where the secret lies when you do the magical, powerful presentation. After you ask the question that I gave you, and now you know the juicy point, you know the values of your prospect, and you now have their values, and you have to write them down. Remember, you write them down, the values. And the reason why I'm saying you write it down is because 15, 20, 30 minutes into the presentation, you will never be able to remember the exact words that they used. And that's very important. That's the reason you need to write it down. And then you start the presentation. The presentation has four elements. Keep that in mind, four elements. The why, the what, the how, and then Q&A. And in the Q&A, I will add after the Q&A, what if, as part of the Q&A. And I will explain later what is the what if, because this is probably the most powerful way to really generate internal motivation in your client to move forward with your service. Okay, so let's start. Number one, the why. In the why, we want to cover why the person wants your product, why he wants your service, why he needs it. We also have to uncover to him why we're doing what we're doing, why I decide to be a contractor, why I decide to be a realtor. Whatever I do, why? What are my reasons? And here come the story that we talked about. And yes, you will get the free PDF. Now, with the elements that you have, to rewrite your story. If you ask for that in the chat, we will send you the PDF again, okay? So if you're a contractor, if you're a realtor, any business owner, whatever you're doing, you need a story why you do what you do. So let's move to the second element. Once we have all the why, now we have a strong bond, a strong connection. They have a reason why they want to listen, why they are interested in the information I'm giving. Just like when I started this class, how did I start? Remember? Did you ever wonder why a good idea is a good idea? That was even the name of the class, and that's probably what draw you in. So when you start a presentation, you need to draw in the person into the presentation. Why it's important for them to be here now? And after we cover the why, we go to the second element of the presentation, the what. And the what is what is the program? Am I a photographer? What do I do? Am I a contractor? What does it entail to get you the new kitchen or the new roof or whatever you want to do? Do I have a product I'm selling? What problem does it solve? What do you do with it? What are the benefits? What are the features? That's the what. And once 
the what is clear, and it's very important to have clarity. Because if someone doesn't have clarity, they cannot make a decision. And as a salesperson, as a business owner, okay, our job is not to sell people. Remember, it's to help them make decisions that will improve their life by using our solution. Does that make sense? Beautiful. So that being said, we covered the what, and now we are going to cover the how. How they become my client, how they are going to pay, how the process is going to work, how long it's going to be. How are we going to make it clear? How are we going to deliver? Everything about the how come in this section. And again, there must be clarity on how things are done. Again, because if someone doesn't have clarity about how, that means they doesn't have full understanding and vision about all the steps and what happened when we don't have uh, clarity about where we're going. Exactly. People are afraid to go where they are not sure what's going to happen. So we must have clarity. Again, we have to help them to make decisions. Now, to the juicy point and the values that were listed in the beginning of the meeting when we ask the question, what's important to you about? So after we have the how and we have the clarity about everything, we go to the Q&A. Do you have any question? Is there anything else that you need to know before you can make your decision? And I want you to pay attention how I formed the question. I pre-assumed in the question, and actually I gave it a condition, what is the thing that you need to know to make a decision? So when they answer that, they will help them, it will help them to move forward towards making a decision. It's a deep psychology of decision making, how it works. And if somebody wants to learn that, let's talk in private later. Now you can always reach out to me and let me know what you need help with. Here at the State of Mind Academy, we have all different levels of student and we can take you from where you are and get you to where you want to be. Here is the link to book your strategy call. Bookmark, you know, the link so you can use it whenever you feel that you are ready. And now, after you ask the question, and of course, we address all the question and all the concern because we must have clarity. They must have clarity. Then we want to go to the what if phrase. Let's understand what is what if phrase. What if it's a magical phrase that makes people see whatever you want them to see. There is no limitation. It removes any limitation because it's totally in their imagination. So then we want to ask, what if you do? And then, what if you don't? Let's simplify that. What if you do means, I want you to imagine, what if you do use my services and you do X, Y, Z, and you recap for them all the benefits and how it's going to make them feel because you already know that. Because you ask them what's important to you, remember? So now you engage them with the positive completion of the process, of the event, whatever it is. Constructing a kitchen, coaching, a, I don't know. Whatever your product or service. Engage them with a successful completion and getting what they want. What if you get all of that? And you have your peace of mind and you have your happiness and you feel proud and you paint the picture that you want in their mind. And after you paint this positive picture in their mind, and I definitely recommend to use adverb and adjective to make it nicer and more beautiful. And now, after you make them engage with the emotion of having that and having the results that they want, 
Now you want to do something nasty. <laughs> you want to take it away. So now you ask, what if you don't take advantage on X, Y, Z? How is your life is going to look six months from now? And you see how my excitement go down? Because their excitement has to go down. And as I lead them, not only with my question, but with my tonation, with my excitement, with my emotion. My teacher always said, if you want to lead someone to be in a specific emotion, go there first. Remember, when you went to the first lead as a shadow to learn, being in training, and you saw a salesman making a sale, it looks so easy, isn't it? It looks like he didn't do anything special, right? I mean, the people was just waiting to sign and give him $100,000. And then you go and you do it yourself and you see that it's not that easy. So probably to get $100,000 in a sale, the guy probably knew what he's doing. So I want you to imagine, what if you join the revolutionary sales training to master your persuasion skill and you learn how to create rapport on a deeper level and you will know how to ask the right question and link emotion to the sale and you know how to shift to closing and you will learn how to handle objection like a pro and more than anything you will know how to create internal motivation within your prospect to become your client how would that affect your bottom line? How will it affect your life? How would your life will look like when you start to make 20, 30, $40,000 monthly? How would it affect your life? How would it will affect your family? And now what if you don't take this training and you enjoy this masterclass and you take notes and you get the most out of this class? But remember, I gave you only the tip of the iceberg. Where will you be in six months if you will not continue the training? This class is enough to get a taste. I gave you a taste. It's enough for you to have tools to really generate more money. But just imagine if this is enough, what I give, will give you in the full program. What does the full program entail? How deep do you want to go? How deep do you want to go with your success? How invested do you want to be with your career? How much success worth to you? And that's how it works. If you want to accelerate your sales with our revolutionary sales training, you have 20 minutes after this class to take advantage and save 50% on this class as a beta tester. I'm going to drop the link in the class, in the chat here. Go ahead, open it, and you can decide once the Q&A is over if you are ready to take the next step to becoming a master persuader. And if you really want to take the next step to the next level of your life financially, personally, emotionally. So now it's the time for Q&A. So if you have questions, please drop it in the chat box and I can answer them. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So we will have the story workshop and we'll have the revolution in sales training, but I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. So before we're done, I want to tell you something about the one-on-one -on -one coaching, okay, that will take you to, to the next level. I do not work with just anyone. I only work with certain unique few individuals. I only work with those who are really committed to the process. I only work with those who really aspire to the biggest goals. I work with people who set this as one of their most important goals and they are willing to work hard and commit to achieving something great that they could not achieve without me i only work with people who show up on time and fully dedicated and do the work so if you are not going to put the work if you are not going to pay the money if you are not going to set big dreams and goals one-on-one -on -one is not for you 
But if you are one of a few that is going to use this to break glass ceilings, if you are someone who is going to fail many times on the path to success and feel down many times, but you still stay on the path to your big goals, I want to talk to you. So thank you very much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it and take advantage on our story PDF. And once it's ready, we hope you will join our free membership site. So before I go, a lot of people want to sit in a group sales coaching. So we are going to be offering that with our premium membership. So please watch for your email or text to get invited to that premium membership. Thank you, and I will see you there. Have a lovely day.